has all these interactive properties, uh, how much would we have to re-green the earth that we've deforested to affect that balance? And, Jim, you kind of did back-of-the-envelope calculations on that, and we came up with the figure 36% by 2030. And I actually thought that was a very fascinating and important calculation. And uh, James Bradley, who's now developing the website that is coming out of all this work with uh, with Jean at Louisiana State University, is really attracted to that idea too because it's it's really simple and it's really accessible. Instead of negatively saying we're going to reduce our carbon emissions to 350, how about we each person increase our green by 36 percent and I would love to hear uh, your thoughts about that Jim since we did the calculations or Jean your thoughts about the implications of actually trying to restore 36 percent green to the planet or Virginia if you'd like to talk about what what are the real obstacles in Memphis I know we've talked about that privately that there's some pretty huge ones politically to re-greening the Memphis area by 36%, let alone just reconnecting the waterfront. So whoever wants to jump in, please go for it. I don't. I Well, first, always check my calculations. <laughs> but um, second, we don't have 36% more planet to, to green. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I don't know where we're going to get one. I understand that uh, physicists recently found all sorts of planets out there. Maybe maybe we can borrow one of those. Oh, and go rape another one. 